Uh, well, I was sorting um, some of my files out on my computer and I've come across uh, some underwater footage that I did earlier on this year, maybe about March time it was, at Lindome Lakes, um, just testing the camera really. And it's footage that I've never really used, so I thought I'd just compile it into a little short video. We are on the Loco, Peg 4, um, with the wind hitting the bank, and um, just fishing down the margins. It was a bit of a coaching session, and it was quite interesting what was happening. Um, what intrigued me more than anything else is, as you'll see... Um, when I lowered the camera in, how inquisitive the fish were about the camera, and that the you know I'd expect them to be spooked and the the they'd swim away when they'd see you lowering it in, but they were completely the opposite. Um, also, one thing I'll know you'll notice with the footage is it's intriguing to see how the light changes on the bottom, and as the clouds pass over the sun, the bottom goes from a golden brown obviously when the sun's shining, to a very grey colour, uh, which completely transforms the, the, the light and the colour of the water, which obviously is the reason why we have good days when it's more overcast, and and especially, you know, this all, all comes back to when you're natural silverfish fishing on natural waters, you know, when it's an overcast day, or when you're bream fishing, they feed more confidently than what they do when it's when the sun's shining because it alters the clarity of the water and you know even on a commercial you can see this really I'm surprised how clear the water is um, you know on a commercial like Loco even in March um, it's amazing what you can see and also how much debris and how much veg you know how much debris and vegetation there is on the bottom which explains why sometimes you're getting fish in your peg you're getting line bites and you're not getting bites and I think half the reason for that is the fish can't see your bait um, because it's camouflaged over over particles that are floating about but anyway it's not a long video but uh, I hope you enjoy it it's quite interesting Do you have a bite?
big fish that. Right, uh, this is another little clip that I found and uh, I was coaching on Willows Peg 9 and it was about end of March last year, uh, this year and it was as you can see a lovely bright sunny day and we really really struggled um, couldn't catch at all, couldn't catch F1s just caught a lot of silvers so I wanted to see what was actually in the swim and Peg 9 is a great peg, I'd say it's one of the most consistent pegs throughout the year on that lake because you've got so much expanse of water, it's a big bay. Um, so I wanted to put the camera on just to see actually what was going on under the water because I, it was, I was baffled why we couldn't catch F1s and the answer is quite simple really, there were no F1s there uh, as we soon found out. Loads of skimmers though but they were swimming quite a bit off the bottom as if they were there but they weren't interested in feeding I'm sure this is what happens mm -hmm. when you've got fish in your peg and you and you can't get a bite simply because they're at a depth where they don't want to feed they're just moving about and they, they swim they swim quite fast as you can see on this video no intentions of settling over your feed um, but very interesting very interesting